When it comes to robot dogs, it feels like Unitree is sprinting ahead with new models every few months, while Boston Dynamics has kept its focus on refining one legendary machine, best known as Spot. And now, Unitree's latest creation, the A2, has arrived, bringing upgrades in speed, payload, and versatility that could challenge Spot's long-standing dominance. But here's the real question. Can a fresh, feature-packed newcomer really take on a veteran that has already proven itself in thousands of real-world deployments? Today, we're putting the Unitree A2 and Boston Dynamics Spot side-by-side, -side, breaking down their specs, features, and real-world capabilities to see which one truly leads, from performance to payload capacity and value. At the moment, the price of the Unitree A2 has not yet been revealed, but it comes in two iterations, the A2 base model and the A2 Pro. These two versions are mostly similar, but differ in a few important features, which will highlight as we go. To begin with, the size of the A2 while standing is 820 by 440 by 570 millimeters, which is approximately 32.3 by 17.3 by 22.4 inches. As usual with Unitree robots, the A2 is not autonomous, meaning you either operate it through remote control or use its Smart Follow feature. Smart Follow lets the robot trail behind you just like a real dog would, making it more interactive and natural for casual use. It's a feature that gives you hands-free navigation. When it comes to construction and material science, Unitree used aluminum alloy, along with high-strength engineering plastic, to create a lightweight but strong frame. Thanks to this choice of materials, the A2 weighs only about 37 kilograms, or about 81.6 pounds, including the battery, which is roughly half the weight of the Unitree B2W that comes in at 85 kilograms, or about 187.4 pounds. This reduction in weight directly impacts mobility, allowing the A2 to reach speeds of up to 5 meters per second, or about 11.2 miles per hour. The A2 has 12 degrees of freedom, each joint powered by low inertia, high-speed inner rotor, PMSM motors, which are the same motors found in the Unitree G1 and R1 humanoid robots. These motors are supported by industrial-grade crossed roller bearings, giving them high precision and load capacity, while also ensuring excellent heat dissipation. The A2's joints deliver a maximum torque of 180 newton meters, allowing the robot to carry up to 100 kilograms, or about 220 pounds, when standing still, and up to 25 kilograms, or about 55 pounds, while walking. For comparison, the B2W can carry up to 120 kilograms, or about 264 pounds, when stationary and nearly 40 kilograms, which is about 88 pounds, while in motion. In terms of joint encoders, for better accuracy and performance, the A2 uses dual encoders for each joint, which are more expensive, but also more precise than single encoders. Dual encoders use two sensors per joint, one on the motor shaft and another at the joint's output shaft after the reducer. This setup gives a real accurate reading of the joint's position and helps eliminate errors. The benefits include improved precision and stability, better fault tolerance, and higher resolution, which is why they are mostly used in high-performance, precision-focused robots like the A2. Cooling is handled through local air cooling, which is consistent with other Unitree designs. The battery system includes dual slots, each holding a 9,000 milliamp hour, 453.6 watt hours battery, giving a total of 18,000 milliamp hours, 907.2 watt hours. This setup enables about five hours of continuous walking without a load, covering roughly 20 kilometers, about 12.4 miles. If carrying a load of 25 kilograms, about 55 pounds, the runtime drops to about three hours, or around 12.5 kilometers, 7.8 miles. For navigation and awareness, the A2 is equipped with LiDAR and an HD camera. The base model comes with one LiDAR, while the Pro version has two. Both have a single HD camera. Processing power on the base model includes a standard 8-core high-performance CPU for platform operations and an Intel Core i7 for user development. The Pro version adds the option for a high computing power expansion dock. The A2 can handle a maximum step height of 30 centimeters, or about 11.8 inches, incline angles up to 45 degrees, and a climbing height between 0.5 to 1 meter, which is 1.6 to 3.3 feet. There is also an option to swap out the legs for wheels if preferred, making it move like the B2W. Durability-wise, the A2 base model has an IP56 rating, while the Pro version's core components are rated at IP67. Both versions come with a 12-month warranty, support for secondary development, and over-the-air updates. Connectivity includes Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, a microphone array for voice commands, and a speaker for responses. Additional practical features include a front light for dark environments and a range of external interfaces for developers, and power output options for 12 volts, 24 volts, or battery. Now turning to Boston Dynamics Spot, this robot dog has been around for years and has maintained two models with incremental improvements rather than new iterations. They have sold thousands of units of their robot dog spot. 
They're the pioneers who set the standard for the entire industry. Long before most companies even considered building a four-legged machine, BD had already invested years of research and millions of dollars into perfecting the mechanics, balance, and agility of these robots. In fact, the, re the reason you see almost every robot dog today with legs that bend backward instead of forward, unlike a real dog, is because BD proved through extensive testing that this configuration delivers far better stability and efficiency. Many companies have either directly built upon their early breakthroughs or adapted them into their own designs. And you can still find much of that groundbreaking research published online, showing just how far ahead BD was from the start. So if we go back to the features, Spot is a four-legged, canine-inspired robot unveiled on June 23, 2016, and designed for a wide range of commercial applications, weighing 32.7 kilograms, which is about 72.1 pounds, and carrying up to 14 kilograms, which is about 30.9 pounds. It is an agile and versatile platform known for its unmatched maneuverability. Unlike Unitree's manual control focus, Spot offers full autonomy with advanced navigation, obstacle avoidance, and mission planning, thanks to its powerful vision system and mapping capabilities. This means it can navigate complex terrains either autonomously or manually via an 8-inch tablet and joystick, making it ideal for environments where independent decision-making is essential. It runs for about 90 minutes on a charge, which is a short runtime, and if it has a payload, this time can be lower than the 90 minutes. But it supports batteries that can be swapped or recharged in 60 minutes. And now with fast charging available, maybe the next update will be recharging way faster. When it comes to speed, Spot has a maximum speed of 1.6 meters per second, or about 3.57 miles per hour, which is three times slower than the A2. But in terms of size, Spot measures 1100 millimeters, or 43.3 inches in length, with a default walking height of 610 millimeters, which is about 24 inches, and a maximum height of 700 millimeters. One of the most impressive things about Spot is how Boston Dynamics managed to keep it so light without sacrificing durability. Despite being physically larger than the Unitree A2, Spot weighs just 32.7 kilograms, which is actually lighter than the A2's 37 kilograms. This comes down to smart material science. The legs are made from glass fiber reinforced plastic, giving them the strength to handle repeated impacts while staying lightweight. On top of that, Spot uses a dual-layer crash protection system, an outer shell of polycarbonate blend plastic for toughness, and an inner foam layer to absorb shocks. This design not only protects the robot's internals during falls or collisions, but also adds safety when working around people. The legs also feature a textured finish for better visibility and recognition, though much of it is hidden under the foam padding. It's a prime example of Boston Dynamics engineering every detail for both performance and real-world survivability. It holds an IP54 ingress protection rating and can operate in temperatures ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius, making it versatile for different environments. Spot also has terrain sensing with a 360 degree horizontal field of view and collision avoidance, maintaining safe distances from obstacles. It can climb slopes up to 30 degrees and step over obstacles as high as 30 centimeters. Spot's real strength lies in its extensive accessory ecosystem. The Spot arm enables grasping, lifting, carrying, placing, and dragging objects and includes a built-in 4K camera with LED lighting for inspections. The Scout platform allows remote monitoring and control of multiple spots through a web-based interface perfect for large deployments. Spot Cam Plus provides a 360-degree color camera and a PTZ camera with 30 times optical zoom, while Spot Cam Plus IR adds thermal imaging. For developers, the Spot GXP supports third-party payload integration, and Spot Core IO facilitates advanced data collection and processing. The Spot Dock enables self-charging, making fully autonomous operations possible for continuous inspections. In comparison, the Unitree A2 dismantles Spot in several key areas, especially when it comes to raw physical performance. Despite Spot's reputation, the A2's payload capacity puts it in a completely different league, capable of carrying up to 100 kilograms. When stationary and 25 kilograms in motion, a figure that only Unitree's own B2W can match with its similarly impressive load ratings. Spot, by contrast, tops out at 14 kilograms making it far less suited for heavy-duty transport or tasks requiring significant lifting power. But while the A2 flexes its muscles here, it's worth noting that Spot still holds the crown in certain areas, with autonomy being its biggest advantage. When it comes to speed, the A2 once again takes the lead, moving several times faster than Spot. This edge largely reflects China's rapid advancements in the agility and mobility of legged robotics, where companies like Unitree have pushed for lighter frames, stronger joint motors, and more efficient mechanical designs. On the other hand, the United States and Boston 
Fusion Dynamics in particular has focused heavily on compute power and the brains of the robot, developing advanced AI tools, autonomous navigation algorithms, and a robust software ecosystem. This difference in focus is clear. Unitry is winning in raw movement capability, while Boston Dynamics excels at giving its machines the intelligence to think and act independently in complex environments. When comparing the two, Unitry's A2 is clearly the more powerful and physically capable machine. It can carry far heavier loads, run much faster, and offers more torque in its joints. Its modularity, optional wheels, and extended battery life also give it an edge in certain operational scenarios. But Spot still leads in autonomy, customization, and proven deployment across diverse industries, with a well-established ecosystem of tools and accessories. Overall, as of now, the A2 feels like the more advanced hardware package, and in certain heavy-duty or speed-demanding roles, it will outperform Spot.